Hi, I'm Bryce Galbraith, uh, Principal Instructor with the SANS Institute, and one of the challenges that a lot of students face when they look at the amazing course offerings that SANS offers is that there's so many excellent courses they can choose from, it can be difficult to choose which one might be right for them at this point in their career when they're trying to meet their objectives. And we get a lot of students that are trying to decide between Security 401, Security Essentials, and Security 501, which is the Advanced Security Essentials. And I teach both of the courses, and so I'm very familiar with the content of both courses. And um, many times it's difficult for a student to decide which one really fits their needs at, the, at that moment in time. And so one of the things that we've really discovered is that with 401, it's, it does an excellent job of uh, a survey of all of the security essentials, the kind of the core concepts that somebody needs to know um, in the IT security space. It does a really good job of explaining the kind of the bigger picture so people have a really good perspective on uh, the overall uh, landscape of the uh, cyberspace today. Security 501 is designed more for security professionals who've already been in the business for a while and they're trying to um, step up their skills. And just, I, think, I thought it might be valuable just to kind of go through a couple examples. Um, for instance, on the first day of 401, we actually go through a, a review of the TCP IP protocol stack. Uh, just to make sure people understand how protocols actually work. It does a really good overview of the, the OSI model and the TCP IP protocol, the IP protocol. We actually decode a packet in hex uh, manually so we can really see how protocol parsing actually works. And it does a really good job of overview. Um, now in 501, we actually spend most of a day digging into packets. And we do a much more advanced analysis with TCP dump and Wireshark and other tools of that, of that type. We actually also uh, look at uh, intrusion detection systems like Snort. We analyze Snort rules in much more detail, including customized Snort rules in a hands-on exercise. And uh, for instance, on day three, um, we actually get into uh, an entire day of penetration testing tools and techniques. So this allows somebody to really understand many of the hacker tools and techniques that are used by adversarial forces today. Um, in 401, we discuss the tools a little bit, but we don't really get into a lot of detail on each one of them and we don't necessarily have a lot of hands-on exercise. But in 501, we will actually use things like the Metasploit framework and actually exploit systems and uh, actually see how it works, how the actual exploit deploys and, and uh, much more detail. And another example might be malware. In 401, we actually discuss malware. We talk about the different families of malware, the classes of malware, and how the malware is a, is a threat to the organization. But in 501, we spend an entire day actually going through and actually infecting a host, a virtual machine, with various types of malware. We start off with relatively simple malware, and then we analyze it, and then try to remove the artifacts that are left over by the malware. And then we revert to snapshot and install a more advanced piece of malware, and we sort of escalate throughout the entire day, installing more and more advanced malware until we get to malware that includes things like very advanced root kits, including boot kits, that actually infect the master boot record and such. So I hope that some of those examples might help somebody who's trying to decide which class might really fit their needs uh, so they can definitely get in the right course.